congratulations on your first win as the manager of the Padres. Thank you very much. All right, if you have a question, I'll just raise your hand. Who's got the first question? We'll start with Bob Julie right here on your right. Mike, congratulations on the first victory. How does it feel to get that first one wearing the brown and gold for yourself? Uh, thanks, Gan. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it means a lot for the group. You know, I'm really proud of this group. Um, the way we did it, complete identity game. You know, a lot of courage, a lot of toughness, a lot of fight. Um, to have that kind of game early, especially after coming back of a tough one yesterday, and to come back and fight for it like we did tonight, and um, you know, keep going. I mean, they they came clearly back at us it's like a heavyweight fight, and um, so it really feels good. But no, it's a really big identity game for our group. We talk about that a lot, and they put it on display tonight how they competed. How important was it to? Continue to come back the way you guys did. You talked about the resiliency, but also from the offensive side, that was an issue for this offense last year. But you guys were able to continue to come back and, and add on. Yeah, that's what it's all about. You know, staying hungry, keep having a good at bats, be the best at getting better. Um, guys were hungry, great at bats the whole way through. I mean, basically good on the whole lineup. You know, starting with Bogey, he set the tone. Toddy, great at bats. Crony, what a day, man. You know, lays out four ropes and sack fly. You know, Manny with the big homer to, to, you know, give us some space that we, you know, would nice to have. And, of course, uh, Campy had a nice day, and Jackson Merrill had by that first knock. So, um, just relentless, loved it. I'm right behind Bob, Jim. Yeah, uh, two things. One, did you have a specific plan against Yamamoto today? To Yeah, you know, we, uh, we talked before the game. Scan asked a question about, you know, what we'd seen and looked for. And, um, you know, we uh, just looked for basically, you know, ball up the middle of the plate and put a good swing on him and guys had good approaches and good at bats. Okay, and the other one was about Robert Suarez. How how important was it for him to come back and have a big game? That was huge. You know, he came in. I mean, look, we don't necessarily want to go ideally to a guy. I mean, um, you know, we went through our pitch and, you know, they took a lot of good at bats and, um, you know, Suarez is his spot with a three-run game to, to go get Mookie and, you know, he came back and got a ton. He did in the inning and went out and won two, three in the ninth. So, Ball came out really good. You know, he's hitting a 9,900, so it was a good day for Robert. First okay. save. Got a doe to your left, Mike. Mike, this being the start of the NL West race, is there a statement of a sort to be made um, with two games like this against an opponent like that as part of a divisional race? Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, it's um, two good teams going at each other. Um, hard fault yesterday, hard fault today. You know, ended up leaving here one and one. Um, you know, it was a good battle, so. Um, you know, clearly good games, and you know we did our part for sure. We're going to continue to just compete against um, how we play the game, play the Padre baseball. And uh, what level of encouragement is there? That four-run inning started by the bottom of the lineup, Wade Merrill, kind of keying things. There. Yeah, good. You know, it's a good point. You know, we want to have link to our lineup, and I feel really confident that we do. You know, Campy again had a big game. Wade had some good swings, hit the ball hard on the screws. Uh, you know, two knocks. You know, Pro Force having good at bats, and then of course Merrill at the bottom just dropped the head on that one, almost got out of there for his first homer. But um, you know, once you have that bottom of the lineup production and turns it over for the other guys, it's uh, it's huge for team offense. Do a couple more. Uh, we'll go back to Bob Julie. Mike, you touched on it a little bit, but Jackson Merrill getting his first hit, also Stephen Kolick getting his major league debut, getting it done. It's sort of something we talked about in terms of having the older guys and the younger guys. The younger guys contributed, and then your veteran puts the nail in the coffin. So is that sort of what you expect to see over the course of the season, and how important is it to get that production from the young guys like we saw tonight? It's huge, Dan. I appreciate you saying that. You know, the younger guys. We had four guys make their major league debut in the last two days, you know, with Jackson and Yuki, and then, of course, Paulie last night, and now tonight, Kolick. Um, so getting that contribution, but you know me and TJ, which I'll mention a little bit in a little bit. TJ Lacita, our traveling secretary, we're talking last night on the way back about how acclimated the young players are and the credit that they deserve for that. Um, but let's don't underestimate the importance of our veterans welcoming them in and shepherding them in to feel comfortable to go compete and be free and just go play. Our veteran leadership's been outstanding. One last one for Mike. All right, Mike, congratulations. I just really just want to say real quick, thank you uh, to Korea and Seoul. You know, we, the hospitality has been fantastic, and we've had a really good experience here, and we're very excited. And also, um, just a quick shout-out. There's a lot of logistics that go into this, and these guys are unsung heroes, so I think it's important to get it out there. 
you know, I mentioned T.J. Lasita, our traveling secretary, who's an absolute stud, and T.J. Laidlaw. We got a couple of T.J.s, our clubhouse guy, that made a lot of challenging things seamless for us to be able to come here and compete and not think about anything but baseball. So um, appreciate everybody in Seoul and appreciate those guys as well. Thanks, Mike. All right. Well, welcome, Sander and Jake. Uh, guys, if we get a question in Japanese or Korean, you can pop those on. Uh, who has the first question for the guys? Oh, we'll start with Doe to your left, guys. Uh, for both of you, obviously a lot happening in that game, long game, a lot of runs scored. What kind of stands out to you or what, um, what's most meaningful to you about uh, the show that you guys put on tonight? I think we're, uh, one through nine, we just had quality at-bats throughout the order, um, <clears throat> not just in the first couple innings, but all the way through the rest of the game. Uh, in the bullpen, and uh, Joe, the starting pitcher, uh, just gave us an opportunity and just kept us in the game the whole time. Uh, I mean, we battled, you know. It was a battle up and down the whole game, to be honest. I mean, we, we came out hot, we scored a lot, and then these guys, I mean, they, as you can see with the lineup that they have, they just don't give up, you know, and... You know that they're going to put up runs on the board. You know that they're, they're just capable of that with how deep the lineup is. And every time they responded, we kind of responded back. So that was huge. Other questions? Is there anything in particular you guys keyed in on uh, with Yamamoto in that first inning? No. Uh, what, what, what was just kind of the sequence like there? And um, what, what were you guys pointing out to each other? What, did, what kind of stood out to you guys about that by front frame? I think it was just good at bats. I mean, <clears throat> obviously he's got amazing stuff, and um, you know, just going out there and just having a quality at bat, and it seemed like at first inning, uh, all the guys that came up had one. Other questions? Uh, Go ahead, Doe. Yeah, this being um, that you guys were in it throughout throughout yesterday's game, that play happening, um, but the two games you guys put on here against that team, start of a divisional battle. Um, how do you kind of see this in the big picture of the two games you put up here against them? I feel like it's a nice way to bounce back. You know, yesterday, we obviously, we had a really, really tough loss. And today, I mean, we could have just went through the motions. Obviously, we're facing one of the best arms that they have over there. And we kind of got him out right after that first inning. So, I mean, that was, a, that was a plus for us. But as I said, again, the Dodgers just kept bouncing back, kept scoring runs. So we also kept doing that. And that was, that was a game changer until Manny pretty much hit that homer, you know, kind of put the icing on that cake right there. And uh, anything you think of when you hear that the 15 runs today for you guys, most ever Padres against the Dodgers, and um, most ever runs just period in a Padres-Dodgers game? I think it's we, good. We got <laughs> we to gotta come here more. <laughs> Other questions? <clears throat> Xander, how many different countries have you played in now? It's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it got to be... Uh, be Professionally, at least maybe six, seven, for sure. Japan and Taiwan also in there. Yeah, yeah that's Mexico, a lot. That's Mexico, a lot. Mexico, right? Well traveled. Yeah. Anything else for the guys? All right. Congratulations, you guys. Thanks for coming by. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.